So tell us a little bit about uh, the, the work that you do and the importance of uh, IT operations and, and data centers uh, in your business. Well, the job of my team is to provide the uh, processing capacity that our geophysicists use to process data. What they do is they get seismic data, so that's essentially sound waves that have been propagated through the ground and recorded. And they use that data to produce an image of the subsoil of the underground. And in uh, doing so, they use software that we design ourselves, but they also use quite a large amount of hardware. And that computer room is one of the uh, places where we have some of that hardware. Now, the room we're standing in, it uses uh, a liquid cooling. Maybe you could tell us about what got you interested in this, uh, this concept and what uh, challenges and, and uh, problems it's, uh, it's addressing for you. Indeed, uh, we use a fairly large amount of processing capacity, mostly cluster-based. Um, some of that with GPUs, some of that just with regular processors. And as we increase the capacity of the systems that uh, predominantly do high-performance computing, we started having the usual issues of uh, heat load and dissipation and the cost of electricity and all of the problems that go with that, the carbon footprint, the obviously bill at the end of the month. And so we started looking at other ways to cool systems that would basically provide a gain in terms of how much electricity we need. And so we started about two years ago working with a company called GRC on liquid cooled environments. The idea being that instead of using air, which is not a very good uh, media to remove heat, we would use a liquid that has much better properties to remove, uh, to remove heat from um, well, computers in this case. And so this room, instead of having vertical racks cooled by air, has horizontal tubs, as we call them, with a liquid in them, uh, an inert liquid, uh, non-conductive obviously, uh, that is extracting the heat instead of the air. And the uh, global efficiency of that, all things being equal for us, is about a factor of two. That is, essentially, we use about half as much electricity overall to run that room than we would if, uh, if we had a traditional air infrastructure. Hey Randy, why don't you show us what uh, we're looking at here. This is one of the uh, CGG liquid-cooled tanks. So Okay, uh, just to open it up, inside this is the equivalent of a 42U rack turned on its side. Uh, you can see that oil is actually floating. The liquid cooling itself is actually floating uh, through here. We have a device in the background that is a pump module. It's called. Uh, it's basically a large heat exchanger that takes this uh, the heat from the oil through a heat exchanger and moves it into chilled water. Um, we are in average production here today. You can see the uh, oil as it moves across. It is a variable speed depending upon the, uh, the load on the rack. And. Tell us again how many uh, servers you can fit in here and what kind of uh, you know, density this, uh, this helps okay. you support. This is a 42U, uh, just like a stand-up 42 unit rack. We're using one new module, so uh, we're actually getting 42 uh, in the rack itself. So tell us what's involved in prepping the servers for this. Are, are these, you know, how, do the, the servers themselves different? Do you have to have, make modifications? Yes, these are conventional air servers. Uh, what we have to do is obviously remove the fans. Uh, we have to go through and remove any uh, thermal uh, transfer material uh, from it. That's inside. It's generally a paste. It's in between the heat sink and the CPU itself. Uh, we replace that with a heat transferable uh, it's a foil that still allows for uh, good conductivity. The um, Servers are basically placed in as they are. And in terms of maintaining them, just uh, uh, we we have hooks still on the side. We use one new mainly due to the weight. Uh, these are brought out. You can see these black bars here. The server will be brought out and laid on a black bar. Work can be performed. Components replaced. The server is then sent back down into the uh, liquid cooling.
thank you.